Hi everybody, Lori here for Honeybee Stamps. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a festive little uh, Christmas house shape card to share with you featuring the House Builder Card Base Honey Cuts by Honeybee Stamps. And this is the die set, and this is the image that they give on the Honeybee Stamps website, which is what I refer to, really helped me a lot. I always need an image to refer to because I get confused. And there's a lot of dies in this die set, and I've been itching to use it for a long time, and this was the perfect opportunity. So uh, I'm gonna do the front of my house out of some craft, kind of a darker craft, and then I'll do another one out of the same color, which will be the back of my house. So you get the front and the back. And then also in the die set is like a little hinge uh, right here. I'm gonna do that one out of craft as well. And that will connect the front to the back and make you a shape card. If you didn't wanna do that, you could just pop on the front house to a regular, you know, standard size card. You don't have to make a shape card, but you know how I love a shape card. And so when you run that hinge through, it kind of pre-scores it. So I just bent that. I give it a once over with the bone folder. And then I'm gonna put score tape on the front and back of this hinge. I'm not gonna really adhere my card together yet before I, you know, I wanna have it flat while I dress it up. But I'll just adhere the hinge onto the back. Sorry for my hair. Like I don't know it when I'm taping it, but I'm getting over top and then my fraggle rock hair gets in the frame. And you know, I've been saying it for years, I think I need to wear a hairnet. I don't know what to do. Okay, so the, for the roof of the house, I'm using kind of a dark chocolate brown. What I'm attempting to do is customize this and make it um, kind of a German Christmas feel. Okay, so my it's a custom card. My oldest son, Boaz, he lives in a basement apartment of this adorable German home. It's kind of like one of those traditional log cabin German homes. It's just gorgeous. And the couple that owns it, they actually built the home. It's beautiful. And they have like this apartment in the basement that they rent out. And so he's been living there and he, he said, mom, do you think you could get me a Christmas card that I could give to my landlord? And of course, you know me, I've got about 55 Christmas cards, but no, no, I decided let's make a custom one because I thought, what if I could kind of imitate their house a little bit? It's not exact because theirs is a log cabin, but so I went with brown and I'm trying to give the brown feel to give it that German, I don't know, I'm just attempting. So I'm cutting some yellow to go behind the windows to make it look like there's a soft, warm glow inside the house. And now I'm cutting the curtains out of red. You certainly don't have to make red curtains, but when you're bringing that festive holiday cheer, red it is. So I did red curtains across the board and I'm using the Honeybee glue tube, which works great. I love that it's kind of a fine tip so it doesn't let too much glue out and I don't have any oozing out the sides and chapping my khakis. So then I adhere the curtains and the window to the yellow backer. And there you have your finished window and I'll do that to the rest uh, like so. There's a lot of pieces on here. I'm not showing every single step, but you get the idea. Basically, you just die cut everything and you glue it together. And there is honestly a million and one different variations and combinations and house layouts that you could create. Um, but I just kind of kept it pretty simple. Well, I don't know if I kept it simple because by the end, I was dolling this house up. I was zhuzhing it up to the high heavens. I mean, if, if I could add any more greenery, it would look like a jungle. Okay, now here's where I, I add a little spice, little something, something. I took the roof to my scoreboard and I just scored lines every quarter inch and just thought I'd give it a little interest because, you know, most of the homes here have that, like, the tile roof and um, this doesn't really look like a tile, but, you know, I just wanted a little a little pattern, just to something subtle, not too distracting, but a little bit of texture. So I'll glue that brown roof on my craft house front. And um, then we have this little dormer, which uh, it has two parts, like a front and a back. So you, and I did the black and the craft to make it have a little contrast. Now I'm gluing on the door and the two windows and then that top little dormer window, which later on I add some more red curtains, because why not? And then there's this little 
I don't know, extra. There's all these little extras that make it so special. And I'm putting, now this is what a lot of traditional Germans home, they have those flower boxes in every window. And then in this die set, there's these little leaves and I die cut about 5,000 and I'm going to just green, add greenery out the wazoo and I'm going to make a wreath. I'm making a little custom wreath that I'm going to glue right on the front of the door. Yes, I am. So this is where I went rogue and I stopped adhering to the image on the Honeybee Stamps website. And I just, I just went full throttle on the Christmas cheer, adding greenery around the sides. Now, are you one of those people who, well, first of all, there's a lot of different kinds of people in this world. There's the ones who like the traditional Christmas decorations on, on the outside, like natural, you know, greenery, maybe some white lights maybe a red ribbon. And then you got the others with the colored lights, the blow up Santa, you know, which one are you? And then you have some who just don't decorate at all. Or maybe they just put a wreath on the door and they call it a day. I, we, I was more along this lines. We used to do garland with white lights in it. And we did a green wreath on the door and I had a red bow. Keep it simple. I don't like too much. I like to keep things neutral in my surroundings because inside my head, it's an absolute rainbow circus. So I like to keep it toned down. Now I'm adding a bunch of little red flowers here and there. They're kind of like, I don't know, my take on a poinsettia. I don't know. Could you add like holly? Maybe like holly. Then a few little topiaries popping on the roof like so. And then I'm going to attach the hinge. So carefully just popping that on, lining it up. And then I'll flip it over and give it a once over with the bone folder to uh, make that secure. Here's where I added the red curtains on the top dormer. And now I didn't add a sentiment because I mean, I just couldn't touch it. It's like, and when I showed it to Bo, let me tell you, he was like, wow, mom. And he stared at it for about three minutes. And he was like, look at the detail. He's like, mom, how did you add the little ornaments on the front door wreath? That is so cool. So, hey. I'll take the compliments when I can get them. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.